Okay, while well, we're waiting for the epoxy to harden on our table project, which will take a little while, maybe a day or two, uh, the table's almost all done anyway. It just needs sanding and finishing. Uh, we're going to talk about clamps tonight. And uh, this is a, a wood clamp right here. on my bench. Good little clamp and I face the uh, inside of the uh, clamping surface with wood and there's a reason for that so it won't mar things when I put objects in there to clamp. And I have an, a second one there. It doesn't have uh, the wood faces on it and it's uh, wood. these are both wood clamps on this end of my bench. Now on this end of my bench over here This is the old steel clamp. I use this quite often. And it wheels open this way. And uh, used for clamping different things on the other end of my bench. So those are the clamps I have on my bench. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the epoxy to harden on our table project, which will take a little while, maybe a day or two. Uh, the table's almost all done anyway. It just needs sanding and finishing. Uh, we're going to talk about clamps tonight. And uh, this is a, a wood clamp right here. It's on my bench. Good little clamp, and I face the uh, inside of the uh, clamping surface with wood. And there's a reason for that, so it won't mar things when I put objects in there to clamp. And I have an, a second one there. It doesn't have uh, the wood faces on it, and it's uh, wood. these are both wood clamps on this end of my bench. Now on this end of my bench over here, This is the old steel clamp. I use this quite often. And it wheels open this way. And uh, used for clamping different things on the other end of my bench. So those are the clamps I have on my bench. Now here's clamps again. These clamps are used, I call them table clamps, but they're used for clamping boards together. And they uh, slide along this pipe. And uh, there's a bunch of those type of clamps, and I have another bunch of them over here. I have another bunch of them, even longer ones, bigger ones. I've got them so that they'll go out for a great distance. I got the really big ones uh, leaning against the corner someplace, even bigger than these ones. And those are the table clamps. And then there's C clamps. I got little C clamps down in here for clamping. And these are a different type of clamp again, up against this row. There's pincher type clamps. Here's more C clamps in here. And more clamps up in here. Vices and clamps. Need lots of vices and clamps in a woodworking shop. Because you're always clamping something or another. There's another way of clamping. These weights down in here. And this is an old piece of railroad, uh, off of a railroad. Piece of the railroad track makes a great little anvil, but it's also a good weight to lay on top of an object to clamp it down. Weights make great clamps. Right in here, car scissor jacks. I got at least four or five of them in the shop. They make great clamps. Now we're going to talk about the small clamps and small vices. This, you probably recognize. Uh, you can buy these at uh, 
places that sell paper supplies and office supplies and stuff like that. These are excellent little clamps for woodworking. You'd be surprised how strong they are in holding things together for woodworking. And they come in various sizes. You can see this one here, a little bit larger, here's a smaller one. So they're good clamps to keep in a woodworking shop for gluing various projects. Now, never underestimate the elastic band, its flexibility in clamping and woodworking. And you can simply tie two of these elastic bands together by just going like this, going through this way, right here, doing this with one hand. And this elastic band now is double the length it was before. Whoop! It fell through. Just a sec. I'll get this. It's hard to do it with one hand and hold the camera with the other. But you go through that way, like that. There's the knot, see? Now I've just tied the two of them together. The two of these are now one. Now you can tie another one on there and make a chain. You make the elastic band as long as you need to make it by tying them together that way. You could tie ten together and then you can wrap them around, around and around the object that you're clamping. Say you're clamping something that's round, a round object. You can go around and around and around and around it with these elastic bands and each time you go around it the band pressure pulls tighter and tighter. The applied force keeps increasing. Every time you go around the object, maybe you're adding five pounds of force. Time you go around it 15 times is 15 times five. So you're getting the great pressure you're exerting by doing that. Now, that's with the elastic bands. If you want to increase the pressure even more than the elastic bands can provide, you use these bungee cords. You go around and around the same way with the bungee cords that you did with the elastic bands and you can apply even a greater pressure to larger objects that you're trying to apply pressure to. Don't underestimate the power uh, in clamping of elastic bands and of bungee cords. They're wonderful for clamping and they don't mar surfaces. Now you have your small clamps, uh, your small vices. Like before we were looking at the larger vices like these size. You have very small ones that will fit underneath your desk. And uh, you can buy these and keep them in your uh, tool drawer, ready to go for when you need them. And they can clamp on your, uh, your desk just like the bigger clamps. And uh, they work as a clamp or a vise. Excellent. Then you have your pincher vise, these little small, and they exert pressure. Their jaws will open wider than these ones here. These ones here are for smaller, does the same thing, but for smaller. Jaws don't open quite as wide as these ones look. See the jaws open wider? These will do the same thing. Don't underestimate these tools. And I call this a tool because most people see this and say, hey, I hang my clothes with that. That's not a tool. This is a tool. I keep these in the shop. I have a whole bucket of these. Well, I shouldn't say a bucket, but I have several hundred of them I keep in the shop in a drawer. These are excellent for clamping. Must. It's a must-have in the shop. So that, I hope that gives you a few extra ideas about clamping. And uh, it's not just for C-clamps. C-clamps are great. And I have a good variety of C-clamps, but their use is limited. These are, are much more flexible for clamping than C-clamps even. There's a lot of objects the C-clamp won't fit. A lot of C-clamps, won't. the jaws won't go out any wider than this. And if you have an object that's, say, six inches long and you need to clamp it, how are you going to get a C-clamp on it? You can't. But you can wrap it with bungee cords or wrap it with elastic bands or use some other modified method. And then you're back in the saddle again. So, happy woodworking.